So as anyone would expect, it is only obvious that when you say n equals 3 plus 2 and then print n, it prints 5. Right? Uh, if you were to say 3 times 2, it prints 6. And then when I say 3 times 2.6, it prints the actual number 7.8. Okay? Fine. Perfect. So, what about let's say let's say a equals 1, b equals 2, and then I print n equals a plus b. Right? This again behaves naturally as we expect. If we include floating point numbers, again behaves as we expect. But then, if you were to simply say A equals Sudarshan, B equals India, and say N equals A times B, okay? Let's see what what uh, gets stored in N. It throws an error, obviously, because it doesn't know how to multiply these two strings, right? That is that is when we may want to recollect our discussion on data types. This is of the type string, this is another type string. It doesn't understand, your computer doesn't understand what is into of two strings. But if it's a number, it readily does the multiplication or let's say even division for that matter. Correct? But then if I say A plus B, what is your guess? Do you think it will throw error? Let's check. Not at all. What it does, it, it simply mixes these two strings, mixes as in puts it one next to the other. This is called concatenation in, in English and more so in computer science this is, this is very often used. They call it concatenate, put two words together, one next to the other. So when you, whenever you say plus of two strings, the computer seems to understand that. Now you can ask me this question, why is it that the computer understands plus and not minus or uh, subtraction, I mean um, subtraction or multiplication. It is programmed that way. It's for convenience that they use plus for concatenation of two strings. Right? So let's go ahead and do something more here. Let's say A equals 1, 2, 3. Okay, let's explore. What if B becomes 7, 9 and 15? What will A plus B be? A plus B simply gets, this is called union in mathematics. All right? What is union? Union is simply, you take this list and this list and put them together. In fact, it is not even union. It is simply put them together, make them, make it together. For example, if you had another two here, okay, it will include that two, two here, as you can see. Right? Union means there shouldn't be a repetition, right? Uh, that, that's the idea of sets that you would have studied in your high school days. Anyway, let's not get there. It's not required here. All that this does is simply puts them one next to the other and creates a new list. So, now you understand a data type matters when we say an operator like plus when we put what is the data type of A and B matters for the computer to give the right output. Alright, so with this, let's go ahead to the next idea, which is let, let's say A equals 11, B equals 15, I say N equals A by B, I say print N. Again as expected, it prints the floating point the, the float number, okay. Float is something that is not integer, as I keep saying, right. So it is 0 0.7333. Fine. So far, so good. Now, what if we were to simply say n equals, let's say, 10 plus 13. Again, that's the obvious here. But then, what if I said 10 plus 13 times 2? What is it that you would expect here, right? I would expect this to be 10 plus 13. Let's say it goes from left to right. First it does 10 plus 13. This becomes 23. And then multiplies 23 into 2 which is 46. 
this is my guess all right you comment using hash here my guess is n will be how much 10 plus 13 is 23 times 2 is 46 all right let's see if this is the answer no this is not the answer the answer seems 36 why that is because your computer does not do it the way you expect it to do it does the way it was programmed to do internally it was it was told to uh, you know uh, calculate such expressions arithmetic expressions in a particular way and that particular way is that whenever you have a plus and a multiplication give priority to multiplication which means come immediately to the place where there is into the star and multiply these two numbers you get 26 correct and then add 10 to it you get 36 and that is precisely what is being displayed here not the typical first guess that i did 10 plus 13 is 23 times 2 is 46 no it first comes to into and then does plus this concept is called operator precedence All right let me just comment that too the expected answer was incorrect the correct answer turns out to be 36 that is due to what is called the operator precedence it's a very complicated term for something as simple as some operators by operator we mean into plus they all are called operators okay uh, some operators are precedence over the other they are executed first over the other all right this is an important concept in all programming classes they teach this although in my personal opinion this is not very important for a simple reason that we can always do what it takes for us to you know we simply put braces brackets and then tell what you want here the moment you put your brackets 10 plus 13 will get executed first 23 into 2 is 46 it has to be that no, the computer cannot do into first and then do plus next it did that when no bra brackets were there like this but the moment you put brackets the computer understands what you expect it to do it will indeed show 46 as you can see here all right so uh, now you understand what are operators your plus your star your minus your division a slash all of them are called operators and when you put them in tandem when you put them together the way we did before right how was that let me put that when you put them continuously like this and confuse the computer the computer indeed doesn't get confused it does what is called operator precedence rule with which it first does the multiplication and then does the addition right as i repeat do not break your head so much about this concept it is just that you need to know what happens when you give an arithmetic expression like this okay what is more important is trying to code and get the output that is expected all right rest are all just details right so let's see more about these operators and operator precedence and arithmetic expressions in our next video